Namaste students. Wishing you a great day. Today we are going to see grammar. In that, first we are going to see punctuations. Punctuation is nothing but a set of marks or a symbols. With that symbols we are going to complete our sentences or we are going to give a more clarity to our sentences. I will show you some punctuation marks. Comma, semicolon, full stop, question mark, dash. With the help of full stop, we are complete our sentences. Now, we are going to see noun. Noun is nothing but the naming word is called now if you want to describe any person you have to name that person for example ram ram is a person if that person we need to describe we are using its or his name noun can be divided into two one is Proper noun. Proper noun is nothing but particular person or particular place or particular day or anything we are describing with its particular name. For example, person Thomas. Thomas is a person. We are describing with his name. Next, common noun. Common noun is nothing but commonly we are using that name is called common noun. For example, river. In our country have a more rivers but we are commonly saying river. If you want to particularly mention that the name of the river, for example, Ganga river is called proper noun or commonly we are saying river is called common noun. Next, pronoun. Pronouns is nothing but instead of Nouns, we are giving pronouns. Here I have mentioned some pronouns. It, 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 het, she, she, the, they. I will give you one example. If I want to talk about Sachin Tendulkar. Sachin Tendulkar is Indian former cricket player. Sachin Tendulkar is staying in Mumbai. Sachin Tendulkar is a famous cricket player in all over the world. Instead of saying Sachin Tendulkar, we can give pronouns. For example, Sachin Tendulkar is an Indian former cricket player. He is staying in Mumbai. He is a great player in all over the world. Okay. Now we are going to see adjectives. Adjectives is nothing but giving expression or we are describing the name or we are describing the noun is called adjectives. For example, if I want to describe ball, that ball is red color. Red is the adjective. We are giving the more explana explanation about the ball. Ball is a noun. We are giving more explanation about the noun is called adjective. 
some adjective words for your knowledge angry he is a an angry person he is an angry person adventurous that trip is was so adventurous he is a bad boy i saw that movie is better than this movie i am so busy like that you can use these adjective words to give more explanation about our nouns now verb action words is called verb if you want to describe about an activities or action you can use verbs i walk to school every day walk is a verb and it's talking about the action next we have to remember this thing if the verb or the action word is ending with ing that means the activity is still continuing for example he is painting the boy is painting that painting activity is continuing that is the meaning for ing now we are going to frame the sentences with the help of grammar ram is a good boy ram is noun is is verb a is an article good is a adjective boy is noun it's a common noun ram is a proper noun few more sentences it is very hot coffee it pronoun is verb very hot adjective coffee common noun i am going to school the rhino has a sharp horn it is very strong animal the rhino is a noun has verb a article sharp adjective horn now next it is very strong animal it pronoun is verb very strong adjective animal is a common noun i am shiva i the noun am is a verb shiva is a noun i is pronoun am is verb shiva is noun i am a student i pronoun am verb a article student noun common noun now it's your duty i hope you are all clear about this grammar section it's your duty to frame at least 
three sentences with the help of noun, pronoun, adjective, verb. Thank you.